Several people struck by a vehicle on the London Bridge. More than a dozen people injured as heavily armed officers respond to that scene. Prime Minister Theresa May now says the incident is being treated as a potential act of terrorism. It is similar to other recent acts of terror, including another attack in London several weeks ago. Good evening. I'm Katie Bryce. And I'm Ken McLeod. WBZ Shante Lands is following the latest developments in this breaking story. She's live in the satellite center right now. Ken and Katie, London police just tweeted that both the iconic London Bridge and Borough Market sites are now declared terrorist attacks. Emergency crews and armed police rushed to investigate an incident on London Bridge Saturday. Witnesses say a man jumped a curb and mowed down pedestrians. There's a crushed van outside Brindisa. Crushed van? Yeah, like, so it looks like that's obviously where a van's hit or something. A triage area was set up nearby to treat the injured. Witnesses say they also heard gunfire. Two armed mark police behind the X5, black X5. Well, they get back. <laughs> <laughs> In a video posted on Twitter, police were heard telling people in a nearby bar to get down. Another video showed police evacuating London Bridge Station. Police also used a double-decker bus to block access to the popular British landmark. The incident comes more than two months after a vehicle slammed into a crowd of people on Westminster Bridge. Four people were killed and dozens more injured. Police believe that incident was terror-related. And the country remains on high alert following the deadly attack at an Ariana Grande concert nearly two weeks ago in Manchester. Grande is giving a benefit concert tomorrow. Live in the Satellite Center, Shante Lands, WBZ News.